So this video will focus on world prices and domestic prices. Particularly, we will talk about uh, exports and imports. And you can see here that I already drew a graph for you, a supply and demand graph, where the, the, the intersection is the equilibrium. And at the equilibrium, we have our domestic price. And this is the price where supply equals demand. But now, in this view, we introduce a new price, and that is the world price. So, the world price. Now, at the world price, uh, the suppliers, well, at the world price, this is how much our, uh, our, our country demands. This is how much our people demand. At, at this price, we demand this much. But the world, on the other hand, would uh, demand more. That's the world price. That's the, that's the price the world buys at. So then, essentially, the suppliers in our own economy, in our domestic economy, would increase their, uh, increase their uh, supply, increase their quantity supplied. So they would uh, actually be making more products at a level where I'm currently pointing at now. So at this point, this is how much they're supplying. So then, uh, at this point, this is how much the the our, our own people, the our domestic buyers will buy, and this is how much we're supplying. So the difference is exports. That's as easy as it get as it gets. This is how much uh, our our own people demand at the world price, but then at the world price, there are other people outside of our own economy that uh, would buy our goods. At that price which is why we will uh, we will make more we will make our goods at this level where supply exceeds demand and the, and the difference will be exports and that's pretty much the concept of it so producers producers will essentially producers make more they make more and they charge more they make more, producers make more and charge more. And that's as simple as it gets. And a simple note, if the price of the world is greater than the price, than the domestic price, if the world price is greater than the domestic price, then, then the country, we can say that the country, then the country uh, is an exporter of that good, is an exporter of that good so it's as simple as that if the world price is greater than the domestic price then we export now the opposite happens here uh, for for this for this uh, graph the the world price is actually lower than our domestic price so uh, so our own people would demand more but then we can't beat the world price. We don't have the the cost advantage. So then, this is how much we will supply. So this is how much we will supply, and this is how much our own our own domestic uh, economy demands. So how we fill in the extra demand is we do imports. Imports. So we will supply the good up to this point, and then beyond that point, beyond that point, uh, where demand is uh or demand exceeds the supply, we will just import the goods that uh, that are demanded uh, uh, to, to make up for the difference. And that's the point that I want to get across for imports. So producers uh, producers would would make less make less. And that's pretty much it. So pretty much the basic point that I want to get across is if the world price is less than the domestic price, then the country, then the country, the country is an importer, is an importer of that good. Oh, and I also forgot the producers make less and they charge less charge less because before they were charging at the equilibrium level now to fight with the world price they have to charge less and they also have to make less too
So to sum up, to sum up, uh, let's say the lower cost. So pretty much, if our country, the good that the good that our country is making has the cost advantage, so our opportunity, our opportunity, our opportunity cost is the lowest, then we are the exporters of that good. Lower cost than exports because because we have uh, we have the comparative advantage the CA the comparative advantage now uh, if other places have lower costs if other places have lower costs uh, then then uh, we import, we import, then we import because uh, they have, they have the comparative advantage, the CA. And that's the point I want to get across in this video. So I hope I got the point across and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video where we'll turn a when we'll talk about terms of trade and uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you next